What's up guys and girls, in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can use AI to write content that will bypass AI detectors and even the strongest AI detectors like originality.ai. So let's go ahead and get started. So in order for me to write this article that was 93% original, I use Claude AI instead of ChatGPT or using the playground mode. And that is because Claude does a little bit better at bypassing AI detectors, specifically originality.ai and some of the tougher um, AI detectors compared to ChatGPT. The first thing that I did was I primed the AI. Essentially, I inputted a prompt which told the AI to write in a way that will bypass AI detectors. So this is a prompt in which I created and it works really well at steering the AI and prompting the AI to write in a more human-like tone. So this is the prompt, and I'll leave this prompt in the description below today's video if you wanna use it. And then the AI will say, yes, I understand. And it kind of gives us a summary of how it needs to write. So then I told it to generate the full article, which was how to make money as a personal trainer. Uh, first, it generated the outline, which looked pretty good. And then I told it to write the full article. So very, very simple um, flow in which I used. And then the AI was able to write the full article, which is how to make money as a personal trainer. And it wrote a pretty decent article. It's about a thousand words. Then all I did was I copied this over, I converted it into Markdown, and then I pasted it into originality.ai. So you can see here how to make money as a personal trainer. Let's quickly go back over to the article just to make sure it's the same article. So this is 796 words. If you love fitness and helping others, if you love fitness and helping others achieve their goals, da da da. And the word count is about the same. It's a little bit less because we converted it into Markdown. So as you can see here, and we are using the latest model, which is 2.0, and we were able to get a 93% original article and only 7% AI detected. That's only probably be about a sentence of the article. So if you wanna write um, content that will bypass AI detectors, then I recommend using Claude AI. It's pretty easy to get an account. Just head over to Claude.ai, sign up. It's available in most countries and you can use Claude for completely free. You wouldn't need to upgrade to a paid plan for the time being, it is completely free to use. So that's the first method in which you can use to bypass AI detectors. The second way in which you can bypass AI detectors is by using a content rewriter. So I've created a GPT, which is called the Blog Post Content Humanizer, and this allows you to rewrite content that you've already written that is a high AI detection score, and this will allow the content to be rewritten so the AI detection score should be a lot lower. So for example, let's say we wrote an article on our website, which is about whatever topic your website is about. You can copy over parts of that article. Then we can head over to the content rewriter. We can paste in that content and the content rewriter will know that it needs to rewrite that content in a more human-like manner. So as you can see here, it's already rewriting the content. Um, it's gonna keep the same essence of the content, it's gonna keep the same style, but essentially it's just going to make the content less likely to be detected as AI. So before the new content is rewritten, let's go ahead and test the original content. So we're gonna start a new scan here. We're gonna paste in the original content from our website that was used um, by ChatGPT to create the content. And we'll see what that content score is in terms of AI detection. So while the content is being tested, I wanna let you guys know that my AI Writing Mastery course is open. If you like all of the strategies that I've used on this channel and strategies that I haven't really revealed, you can check out my AI Writing Mastery course. Since the course is pretty new, I am running a discount. So if you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link for my AI Writing course in the description below today's video. Now let's continue. So as we can see, the original content is 100% AI written. So now let's go ahead and copy over the new content. So this is the new content here. We're going to copy this over first. We are going to convert this into Markdown because this just makes sure any imperfections in the content isn't there. So we've converted it into Markdown. Now we're going to do a new scan, paste it in here, and we're gonna scan this article and see what is the AI score for this paragraph. So we can see that this paragraph is now 99% original. So sometimes when you rewrite the full article, you may not get a 99% original score, but when you break it down and you copy over sections by sections of the article, then you're able to rewrite those specific sections. You could also test out pasting in the full article into the content humanizer and see if you're able to get a low AI detection score. So I'm gonna test it out for this video. I pasted in the full article and let's see if there's a difference in the AI detection score rather than doing sections by sections of the article. Okay, so the full article has been rewritten. Now let's go ahead and convert this into Markdown and it's about a thousand words. So let's go ahead and see what the AI score is going to be for the full article. 
Okay, so this actually worked really well. We were able to get a 98% original article, went from a 100% AI written article to a 98% original using the content humanizer. So you can definitely go ahead and paste in the full content. What I would recommend is I recommend that you convert the content from ChatGPT into Markdown and then you copy over the Markdown content into originality.ai. But currently those are the two most effective ways that you can use to bypass AI detectors. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.